We are the damned of all the world. We are the wounded of all the wars. We cannot forget a woman. We who have hot blood in our veins, sadness in our head, and pain in our heart. An individual has the chance to start from zero. They start you with a new name, a new identity. You be who you wish to be. I chose a new name because I'd been married before, uh, I had a child. Uh, having abandoned the family, I was likely to have problems with uh, British justice, civil justice. It's not a normal existence. Some of the things I've seen guys do, I mean, you get locked up in uh, Seville Street. <laughs> yeah. Here you can do stuff and get away with it. Get away with it, that the stuff you can do in civil life you wouldn't be able to get away with it. We are a bit out of time and space in the region. You realize that we are in a sort of monastery. We are living alone among us, and we are stripping off all those materialistic aspects of the society to rebuild a new man, a bit more spiritual, according to me. An army of monk soldiers living on past glories, a refuge for delinquents and misfits from all over the world, soldiers of fortune, or just plain mercenaries. Call them what you will, the Legion remains today what it was when it began, an army of foreigners ready to do the dirty work for France. As the sun sets on the French colonial empire, the Legion remains a relic of bygone days. But could it perhaps have a future as an international army for a united Europe? When you've got legionnaires in battle, you've got all the other troops. You've got 141 different countries. You've got Brit squaddies, we've got Americans, we've got Australians, New Zealanders, Somalians, Ethiopians. I've got two Zulu warriors. And you've got everybody tied in. If you've got faith in your comrades, man, you can walk all over the world. Every week, more than a hundred young men from all over the world arrive at Marseille to offer their lives for France. Coming from many different cultures, speaking different languages, it would seem that they have little to share. But they have one thing in common. They have all broken with their past and are ready for a new beginning. Yes, I love you. When I say I'll goodbye to my girlfriend, I, I guess that was not too hard because I was already prepared inside me about what I was going to do. My past is past. Now, the past is not important no longer. Why is it that Joe Espinosa, a 20-year-old Mexican-American, has chosen to turn his back on his country, his family and his friends to become a mercenary serving France? There is no army in the world surrounded by more mystique than the French Foreign Legion. Since it was founded in 1831, the Legion has been the guardian of the French colonies. But that empire is no more, and the Legion has come home to France, far away from their beloved citadels in the burning sun of the desert. But the legend remains. A legend that made Bo Jest a classic, Hollywood a fortune, and Gary Cooper a star. That legend continues to attract recruits, for the Legion appeals to something deep and mysterious in the psyche of men. People come here because they're looking for adventure. They're young guys who've heard of the Foreign Legion, who've read about it. The second reason are those who have financial problems. They can be gamblers, they can be people who've accumulated a great number of debts. 
the others who have minor um, criminal problems. That is, they, they, they may have done a few uh, burglaries, and if they're caught this time, they could go inside for a couple of years. There are those, of course, for sentimental reasons who come here, who've left a girlfriend, they've been very stung by the romantic failure. And you've also got the ex-servicemen, of course. I was an M60 gunner. And I started out with uh, 22 people and wound up with 12 two years later. It was a job. It's the best fun I've ever had in my life. When John Barquette came home after the Vietnam War, he couldn't settle down. And I felt I was up against a social wall. There's such a social Im importance made on youth that I was reaching a certain age. And uh, all this, I thought, well, hell's bells. If you're going to die, let's die tomorrow. Get it done. Well, I haven't managed to yet, so what the hell? I'm still here. What would you be doing if you weren't doing this? <laughs> I'd be well, it's three situations, you know. Have a normal life, though I doubt it. Or be Nick, or down South Africa somewhere. Mark Rossignol from Australia makes no secret of the fact that the Legion has saved him from a life in prison. The contract is simple. You give the Legion your body, and they will protect you from yourself. The hell, I have cowboyed, I have managed my own ranch, I have drove truck, I have worked in damn steel mills and foundries. I have dug more than my share of ditches and painted houses. I have done everything there is to do. The Legion is very special. Why a guy joins ain't got hell of beans to do with nothing. It's why he stays. You could also say that a lot of these guys would kill themselves on auto accidents or uh, with drug overdoses or some bullshit like that within their social life if it wasn't for the Legion. What holds you there is discipline, it's not fear. You got some guy who's well balanced who wants a wife and two kids with a little white picket fence and all this crap, you know? Man, we don't need him. We need the kind of guy who hasn't got any idea what he's gonna do tomorrow. Because if you got a guy who's got his head functioning correctly, he don't need us. We take all these other weirdos and stick them together and make something out of it. And it works, that works well. But why someone stays here, man, is because he found something that makes his life worth living a little bit longer for. This is a big challenge for me. Yeah, yeah, I was afraid of it, because we don't know what it is. We don't know what's going to happen, how they're going to treat us or something. They take everything from you when you begin. The driver's license, they take it away from you. If you have any picture, they take it away from you. Anything that can relate you to the outside world, they take it away from you. Money is not always the most important thing in our world, at least for me. I don't come here for the money. If it's good, I maybe stay for 15, 20, all my life. Most of them say to me, I can't cope any longer with my environment and with the world around me. So I come and I give you my skin. I give you my blood. You, you do what you want with me, said the Legioner. But please, love me. Uh, I will give to you all that you want. I will obey your orders. But in exchange, I demand to be loved by somebody in that institution. Your stay here is from between 15 and 20 days. You're going to go to the interrogation unit of the Foreign Legion. Here, they want to know about you from the day you was born until the present date. It's a big person in front of you with a big rank. He was looking deep, deep inside me. And he take all that past that I had in my eyes. And he began to ask me about it. And every time I tell him something, a piece of me that was falling to the floor. You was, was a fireman at night? Yeah, I was a firefighter at night, and I was going to the university in the morning. If, for example, your mom and your dad, they come knocking on the door here to ask if you are here, 
Do you want them to say yes, you are here, or not, not to say you are here? No, I want the Legion to say no to them. Okay, the Legion can respond that they are not here. Okay, so we will change the name. Okay, there is no problem, they will change your name. Okay? Okay. So, from now on, you will call yourself Joe Harris. From now on, your new name is Joe Harris. Okay. Joe Espinoza doesn't exist. Joe Espinoza doesn't exist anymore. Okay. The beginning of my new life, that was really when they cut my hair off. That was a part of me who was sad because I was losing a many years pass because you look completely different. But I was getting now my new life in the Legion. Here in the elite 2nd Parachute Regiment, known as the Rep, Legionnaires live life on the razor's edge. They are on constant standby to go anywhere in the world at two hours' notice. It's the adrenaline that this kind of life creates that attracts people like Corporal Mark Rossignol, who came from Australia five years ago to join the Legion. I think I need discipline in my life. No, I wouldn't get that in Civvy Street. I'd get it by the coppers, that's the only thing. I want an army life, and I've got it here. So I'm happy with it, you know. Most people who come here, they've got nowhere else to go. This is probably your last chance. On the island of Corsica in the south of France, the parachute regiment is kept fairly isolated from the rest of the world. today trains as a rapid action force. It's part of the French army, but remains a small self-contained professional force of eight and a half thousand men. I went home uh, last January, well this year in January, and uh, it's all changed. Well, mates, uh, I've seen them, uh, but half of them are no good, you know? Big, big goat in the pubs, the other half are a nick. It's not a life, that, sitting at the pub, you know? What do they think about you joining the Legion, though? Some of them said, oh, it's all right. Some of them didn't even know what the Legion existed. <sighs> Felt like, uh, I mean, place wasn't there, you know? That's it. For me personally, it's a challenge, you know, that's it. I mean, if I can stick it out, um, well then, it'll, it'll be something you can be proud of, that's all. It is a commitment, it's more of a commitment than you think. Commitment to the people that you work with, also to yourself, because it is a small family. Party! Chris Osborne gave up a career in the Australian Regular Army to take up the challenge of the Legion. Come right, come right. Here, mate. I knew what I was getting myself into from the start. As soon as I walked through the gates of Auburn, I knew that it would be hard work. You have to earn everything here. You have to earn, 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 earn. Even the respect in your place in the section as soon as you arrive. You are summed up. You are looked at. The training's hard, it can be very frustrating, but it's always difficult mentally, because uh, sometimes you don't see the logic of things. My ambition, just to try and probably stay fully functional, you know, mentally and sort of physically. It is probably the best school for human nature in the world here. You have no idea. You've got guys from all around the world, you learn different traits about different nationalities. 
Legion. Don't like blacks, but it's uh, black legionnaires, and uh, I considered them as a legionnaire before they're black, you know. Everybody has the differences, but you'd be very stupid to come here and say, I don't like this certain nationality, so I'm going to beat the hell out of every one of them. I mean, you wouldn't last long. You know? Everybody's in the same boat here, you know? Nobody's special. You come here full intention, knowing that you could end up killed, sure. This place does have a mortality rate. You can't always be sure where your luck's going to be or what your destiny is. Yeah. You've got to do it. I mean, what do you want to do? Sit around and, and watch the sun come up in the morning and watch you go down at night and uh, not get a buzz? Sure. I get a buzz at the blowing up things and shooting things and uh, jumping out of planes and stuff like that. Yeah, sure. Would you get a buzz out of killing people? If it was part of the job, yes. If it's to defend the lives of uh, French citizens down there in Africa, and to protect your mates here, right your fellow legionnaires, right yes. Arasso! You can take pride in that you have done your job, yes. The Legion was one of the first armies brought into Saudi Arabia to join the Allied forces in the Gulf War back to their beloved desert. The Legion also maintains permanent outposts in other foreign territories. From its headquarters in mainland France, today the Legion maintains a presence in Chad in Africa. They're also based in Djibouti on the Gulf of Aden, Mayotte in the Indian Ocean, in the Pacific Islands near Tahiti, supporting the French nuclear testing program, and in the jungles of Guyana, guarding the European space pad. Here, they are trained in jungle warfare. The missiles we find in Guyana are the biggest arachnids in the world. Most soldiers in the Legion can expect two years out of the first five at foreign postings. The danger and romance of exotic places has wide appeal to young men brought up in the urban jungles of the world. After three weeks of medicals, aptitude tests and interrogations, the successful one in three is issued with a uniform. When everybody begins to take their clothes off, that's the moment when you begin to give that step in into the soup. They make you lose your identity and make you get into a group. You're no one no more, you are many. Today, Joe Harris will make one of the most important commitments of his life. He will sign up for a minimum of five years in the French Foreign Legion. I shall solemnly underline this new start chosen by you and your willingness to serve the Foreign Legion with honor and faithfulness whatever the regiment you may choose. Engage volontaire, pure d'air. Pressure, Major. They agree to abide by a solemn code of ethics. Engage volontaire, King. Present. Calling on them to accomplish their mission at all costs. Never to abandon their wounded or dead. Present, Major. Nor surrender their arms under any circumstances. Engage volontaire, Nemer. Present, Major. 